Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, kasamang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bidangagham! A balanced meal helps keep not only the digestive system, but the whole body healthy and functioning properly. This Shensha Amazing episode will be the beginning of our discussions in Grade 8 Science. Today, we are going to talk about the digestive system, its structures, and functions. The digestive system has many different parts that work together in order to properly break down food and absorb the nutrients it contains for the body's use. We have three main processes in our digestive system. First, ingestion or taking in food into the mouth. After ingestion, digestion comes next, which goes in pair with absorption that refer to the processing of food into a form that will be assimilated or absorbed into our living cells. The third main process is excretion or the elimination of indigestible substances and certain waste through the anus. Anong mga parts ng aking katawan ang responsable para sa digestion? These are the parts which belong together in the digestive tract. Man's digestive tract or food tube is about 9 meters long, extending from the mouth down to the anus. It has many parts that work together in order to keep us healthy. Let's explore man's digestive food starting with the mouth cavity. The mouth is the entrance of food. Inside the mouth, makikita natin ang ngipin o teeth Dila o tongue, and salivary glands. The teeth cut and chew the food into small pieces. The tongue manipulates the food for better chewing action and mix it into the saliva. Ang nagre-release ng saliva ay ang salivary glands. The saliva release contains enzymes. What are enzymes? Enzymes are proteins that speed up chemical reactions without being used up during the process. Ang halimbawa nito ay ang mga enzymes na makikita natin sa ating bibig in order to speed up the digestive process. After sa mouth, the back part of the tongue secretes mucus to make swallowing easier. Papunta na ito sa esophagus. The esophagus is a moist and muscular tube that connects the mouth to the stomach. It delivers food to the stomach. From the mouth, the food that we ate will be pushed down the food tube by a series of wave-like contractions of the muscles of the esophagus. This muscular activity is called peristalsis. Near the end of the esophagus, makikita natin ang cardiac sphincter. Ito siya. The cardiac sphincter is a circular muscle valve at the upper end of the stomach and it relaxes to allow the food from the esophagus to enter the stomach. The stomach o ang ating chan is the sac-like, most expanded portion of the food tube. The inner surface of the stomach is highly folded, allowing it to collapse when empty and expand ulumalaki as food fills it. Thus, it can expand and hold up to 2 to 4 liters of food and liquids when full. As the food enters the stomach, another circular valve muscle called the pyloric sphincter at the lower end of the stomach 
remains closed. Sa taas, meron tayong cardiac sphincter at sa baba, merong pyloric sphincter. Bakit merong ganito? Because the food mass is temporarily stored in the stomach during which some digestive processes occur. After about 2 hours, the pyloric sphincter relaxes and the partly digested food gradually leaves the stomach and enters the next part of our food tube which are the small intestines. Just a quick summary of how far we have gone with our digestive tract. From the mouth, food travels to the esophagus and then enters the stomach by passing through a circular muscular valve called the cardiac sphincter and then it enters the stomach in which folds called rugi, rugai, or ruji is present. We have heard many pronunciations of this term so you may use any pronunciation that is stated in the dictionary. This part is the one that expands or collapses when we consume foods and liquids. After being partially digested in the stomach, food goes out by passing through the pyloric sphincter and then to the small intestines. The small intestine has three parts, duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. The upper part of the small intestine has a wider diameter while its lower portion has narrower diameter and is highly coiled. The duodenum or the upper part receives the partly digested food from the stomach and also the digestive juice from the pancreas, bile from the liver and gallbladder. With the enzymatic actions na nangyayari sa duodenum, final digestion of food occurs mostly in the upper part of the small intestines. Meanwhile, ang absorption of fully digested food mass takes place at the lower part of the small intestine. Ang small intestine ay merong very tiny projections called intestinal villi which increase its absorbing capacity. And this is where absorption completes. Undigested food and other waste pass on to the large intestines by peristaltic action. The large intestines is called large intestine because of its diameter. Based on its position, the parts of the large intestine are the ascending colon o yung pataas na part, transverse colon, yung pahiga na part, and descending colon, ang pababa na part. The last part of the large intestine ends in a short tube called the rectum that leads to the lower opening of the food tube, the anus. Through peristalsis of the large intestine, the feces is propelled out of the body through the anus, and this process is called defecation or bowel movement o ang pagpoop o ang pagtae. Let's have another trivia! Maliban sa mga parts ng ating food tube o digestive tract, meron din tayong mga glands na associated sa ating digestive system because they release or they produce secretions that aid digestion. Tinatawag sila na accessory digestive glands. What are these accessory digestive glands that produce secretions to aid digestion? We have three. First are the salivary glands, which are present in three pairs. We have two parotid glands found below and in front of the ears, two submandibular or submaxillary glands under the lower jaw, o sa ating panga, and two sublingual glands under the tongue, for a total of six salivary glands. This digestive gland secretes saliva, which contains a start digesting enzyme called salivary amylase or thialine. We will discuss how the thialine works in our next video. Aside from the salivary glands, we also have the liver as part of the accessory digestive glands. The liver is the largest accessory digestive gland in the body. It produces a yellow-green colored liquid called bile which is stored in the gallbladder. 
bile aids in the digestion of fats. And the third accessory gland is the pancreas. The pancreas secretes pancreatic juice that contains enzymes, which also aid in the digestion, especially those which occur in the small intestines. Before we have a short quiz, let's have a quick recap of what we have discussed about the digestive system. Sa ating Shanshamazing episode, we talked about the digestive system, its structure, and function. We covered the main processes in the digestive system, digestive tract of humans, structures of the digestive system, and the accessory digestive glands. It's good time! To check kung meron ba talaga kayong tutunan sa ating Shensha Amazing episode, we will have a short 3-minute quiz. After 3 minutes, iti-check natin kung tamang mga sagot nyo. Let's start! Time's up, let's check if your answers are correct. Number 1. Feces is propelled out of the body through bowel movement or, what's the term again? It's defecation o ang pagtae. Number 2. It is the entrance of food. Dito pumapasok ang pagkain na ating kinakain. This is quite easy. The answer is mouth. Third item. It has three parts. Duodenum jejunum and ilium. This is where digestion and absorption takes place. This is the small intestines. Number four, a process that pushes down swallowed food through wave-like contractions of muscles of the esophagus. 
ang keyword ay wave-like contractions. Hindi lang ito nangyayari sa esophagus, meron din sa large intestines, meron din sa lower part ng small intestine at sa large intestine. This is the process called peristalsis. Last item, number five, processing of food into a form that will be used by the cell. What do you think is the answer? This is digestion. Ang ingestion is to take in food. Ang esophagus ay ang part which connects the mouth and the stomach while the large intestines carry away undigested food and wastes. Ang digestion ay ang process in converting food into a usable form for our body. That's the end of our 5 item quiz. Please comment your score over 5 in the comment section below so that we can check them out. I hope you learned a lot from this video. That ends our Shansha Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!